Hi, how is it going? So today I want to do a review which is about Rich Meter 113A here. This is what Rich Meter 113A. So I want to do a meter review for this overview, kind of overview for the Rich Meter 113A here. Okay, let's get through it. We see what it does, what the meter specialty and what it does and how it works and those stuff. Okay, let's get through it. Okay guys, this is a Rich Meter 113A here. It comes with a manual. When I open the package, it comes with a manual as well, which is a digital multimeter instructions instruction manual range series here, right? So we take a look first at the multimeter here, which is Rich Meter 113A. It kind of got a nice color, which is an orange and kind of rock feeling when it holds. And at the back, we got the placement for the lead system, which is kind of unique. And it got the magnet, which is kind of can hold on the fridge or anywhere. It's kind of like any, let's say you're doing a AC voltage stuff, you can kind of hold like a stainless steel parts there and kind of hold it when you're doing like AC voltage test and sort of those stuff. Okay, let's see over here, you got the multi range scale for the multimeter here okay so far it feel nice for the nope here when i turning around here okay kind of nice feel okay come with the black light as well when you're on this but i'm not sure why the symbol you got like flashlight here is it got flashlight here i cannot feel it's got flashlight above so it's kind of display button and you can on the on on off for the backlight there and we can hold the value let's say we're doing a measurement and we kind of hold the value for the measurement there okay we got the dc voltage we got the ohm for the resistance we got the continuity test as usual we got a diode test and we got a current dc current at ac voltage here and cv test which is known for the non-contact voltage test. So right now, I just want to show how it goes with the NCV detection here. It's shown here is NCV detection. So let's put it here. Okay, kind of works well there. There you go. Kind of nice sound beeping there goes. And uh, I think that's about it for the multimeter here. And uh, let's go to see some of the instruction. Guys, this multimeter, I bought it around, I think it's price seat is around 30 ringgit, which is, I bought it in cheap price. Normally it's around 48 ringgit. This multimeter will be in 40 ringgit, but I got it on discount, which is on 30 ringgit something. The 40 ringgit is around, I think, $10, some sort of $10 like that. Alright, so this is digital multimeter instruction manual range series. You take a look inside. The meter is multi-function instrument with high measurement accuracy, blah, 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 high speed digital processor and uh, CDC and okay. So what it got, it got bad light and CV sensing area. LED display, buzzer and IR indicator, backlight button, HFE test socket, rotary switch, we got a voltage, ohm and milliampere input socket, com input socket, 10 ampere input socket, hold button and last but not least we got the NCV indicator and IR receiving area. Only for the B model, okay this is only for the B model, this is NCV indicator and IR receiving area. So that's for the model B. Mine is model A, 113A, kind of be maybe it's 113B, sort of stuff like that. So here is some of the indie, what we got here, it's total around 12 parts, important part here. Okay, okay, this is what the LED, LCD, LED display here, which is LCD display here. You got a low battery indication here, auto power off, negative input polarity, AC input. Okay, that's the DC input, buzzer, and much more here. Non-contact watch test. 
temperature. I'm not sure you got this model got temperature. I think it's the other model. Should be got temperature. Okay, we got a warning sign. And this is the CAT2 rating multimeter, which you already stated here. CAT2 multimeter. Okay. Uh, we got what else? Maintenance. We got a tolerance reading. Okay. Okay, this is how we test the AC load appliance, electric appliance, and uh, the accessories which provide is an instruction, a pair of test leads, a piece of the more couple. Okay, oh, it got the C model as well. I see, so it got C model as well. A, B, C, I got kind of three models there. And three pieces of triple A battery. So this triple A battery is the kind of, I, I have to put inside for the triple A batteries here. It didn't provide for the triple A batteries. So that's kind of unfortunate for this part there. Okay, like actually I want to have a look and search on Google what is the reach meter basically. Okay guys, I kind of want to make a, I kind of do reach meter, kind of search on reach meter website. See if you got a website there, reach meter 113A. Okay. Let's see. Mm. Not sure you got the uh, all here. Which meters? Okay, I already checked here. I'm not sure about that. Okay, here is the rich meter website which I already uh, last time I already checked it here. So you got some thermometer. You doing some thermometer product. We got some. Okay, a couple of multimeter. Okay, this is our RM right? RM one one three A. RM this short form as rich rich meter kind of rich there so R L R M one three one three A one one three D and one one three E I see there's a lot of they got a lot of product here oh this is kind of kind of nice though in black color one one three E one one three A one one three D but in black color hmm. kind of nice uh, this looks like kind of like a fluke here. Which meter 101, but the design look like full, just it, it change it to blue color there. Okay, kind of nice there. Um, okay, or oh, you can make, you can make an uh, anometer as well for the wind speed and air velocity. Okay, about us, company info. Rich meter is a widely known brand with sales instrument. Oh, that's a short introduction there. Company profile kind of short there. It's a more cost effective product. Well, that's that's kind of it. But anyway, I think the I think this meter is kind of good though because I feel like uh, I think it's okay because it got its own official website also. Most of the multimeter which is China product don't have the like official website. I think this niche meter is kind of okay though. And for me personally, I feel like the multimeter is kind of good. It's kind of rug. And uh, I feel a nice feeling when I'm turning the knob as well. And guys, that's the kind of it for my multimeter review. Over overview, kind of overview on it. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I, if you like this content much, I will try to improve more. And I post it more about this multimeter overview and much more multimeter overview in the future content. Okay, that's about it guys. I hope you learned something. See you in the next video. Bye.